Hey guys, it's Chris. Today we're going to be jumping back into our Can My Vehicle Be Towed series. This week we're going to be taking a look at Ford cars and, and their lineup of towable vehicles. Before we get into that though, just a couple of quick things. First of all, we uh, had our video last week. I'm sure you saw it was our grab pad announcement. We're really excited about this product. It's brand new for us. If you've been with us for a while, you know we don't release new products all that often. Uh, but when we do, we want them to be very disruptive to the market. We want them to be very innovative. And we believe grab pad does that. Uh, with GrabPad, you get tons of additional surface area, so you never have to worry about burying your jack feet ever again. Uh, it's got incline or terrain sensing on it, so you can actually be able to uh, level your coach even on unstable or sloped ground, which is really nice. Uh, that's kind of a unique feature of it. So we would encourage you to check it out. We do have a wait list going right now. Uh, a pre-order will be available eventually, but right now we're just doing a wait list. Anyone on that wait list will get notified first when the pre-order does open. So make sure you sign up for that. And then secondly, for the RVI app, we actually just recently launched uh, the Android version of the app. So if you've been an iOS adopter, that's great. Thank you so much. If you have an Android phone and you've been eagerly awaiting the release of the Android version, well, wait no more. You can jump on the Google Play Store today and download the RVI app. So we'd encourage you to do that, get access to all the cool features, including QR code generation. With those announcements out of the way, let's jump into the topic for this week, which is again, can my vehicle be towed? And we're looking at Ford series cars. So the last time we did this, we were talking about GMC and Chevy vehicles, and we introduced something called our complexity scale, which is just basically how uh, complicated are a specific make of towed vehicles or a specific manufacturer's lineup of towed vehicles to actually flat tow. And in this scale, we have one through 10. We're using kind of a, a zero or a one as like our Jeep Wrangler, which is really, really easy to flat tow. It's almost plug and play. And then on 10, we have the Ford C-Max. And you, you notice I'm using a Ford car there. That's actually not very indicative of their current lineup of cars, but the Ford C-Max, it was marketed as, as flat towable. It, it wasn't really flat towable. Towable. There was pretty much no way to do it without damaging the car or your brake or some combination of the two. So that's kind of our scale, zero or one being our Jeep Wrangler and then 10 being our Ford C-Max. So where does Ford's current lineup of towable vehicles stand on this complexity scale? Well, we're gonna give them a six. And actually it probably could be a little bit lower for most of their cars. There's a couple specific models that bump that up a little bit higher. But by and large, six. They're really a perfect middle ground. Most Ford cars are gonna be the great balance between amenities and lots of the technological advancement you might see in maybe a GMC or a Chevy car, but then the ease and kind of the rugged nature that you would find in maybe a Jeep or something like that. Ford really strikes a nice balance in between there. So that's kind of why naturally they're in the middle of the road as far as their complexity scale. Like I said at the beginning, there's a couple of specific models of Ford that bump this up a little bit higher. One of those is the Ford Bronco. And the Bronco, while it is their most complicated vehicle, is actually a really great example of how responsive Ford is to the flat towing community, which is part of this rating as well. Uh, they've been actually extremely good about this. So with the Bronco, you have a few different versions of engine capacity. So the, the lowest being the 2.3 liter, you have a 2.7 liter, and then you have a 3.0. And with the 2.3 liter, there are zero problems flat towing. You can flat tow it in really any shape or form. It works great. The 2.7 and the 3.0 are a bit more complicated. So with the way that those cars are structured, they actually have a, kind of a hybrid braking system, which is very uncommon. In fact, I believe this is the only car on the market that uses it, where you have both a vacuum and an active system contained within the same braking architecture of the car. So because of that, it's something where you actually have to disable the active braking system within the car. And fortunately, Ford has provided a software update to do that. When the car initially launched, it didn't have any, any way of doing that. And so it actually was almost uh, not flat towable for a long time because of that problem. And Ford heard the outcry from the flat towing community. They realized that this was gonna be a problem and they actually released a software update directly in response to that feedback. So again, the responsiveness from Ford is huge. You don't often see that. And it's gotta be something that you take into account uh, when you're looking for a new towed vehicle. Keep in mind, Ford's very responsive to the RVing community. But going back to the 2.7 and 3.0 liter Broncos, you can use that software update to be able to now tow those vehicles using a portable braking system. You unfortunately still can't use an installed braking system uh, like the RVI Brake Shadow. That's not gonna work because of the way that the uh, all those components are kind of structured under the hood. Uh, there's no real way to tie into a vacuum line, at least easily. 
Uh, so you will have to only use a portable system. So again, there's some complexity here that does merit that six rating, but uh, the balance on the whole is that Ford is again, very responsive and most of their cars are fairly straightforward when it comes to towing. So again, that's kind of our explanation for the rating and then a, a kind of a specific example there. So last week we also talked about uh, what are some specific accessories that may be needed across the board for most Ford cars? Well, almost always you're going to need something like our 12 volt battery direct kit. That's our uh, a dedicated auxiliary outlet that you would use for a portable system like the RVI Brake 3. You'll need something like that with most Fords because in most cases Ford outlets are on a timer. So they'll start out by being live and then about 45 minutes to, to an hour or so uh, into your towing they will shut off. And obviously that's a problem if you've got a portable braking system. So you will need some kind of dedicated outlet. And then the other thing you'll almost always need is some kind of towed battery charger. Uh, again, because Ford isn't quite as heavy duty as let's say a GMC or a Chevy car, uh, they usually won't require a disconnect, but they will require some form of a charger because there are still a lot more computerized components than let's say something like a Jeep would have. So. Those are the additional products. You'll probably need a 12 volt battery direct kit and a towed battery charger. So now let's take a look at what is our recommendation? What car amongst Ford's lineup do we recommend? Well, we're gonna kind of give you a part A and part B on this one. The most popular uh, towable option from Ford's lineup is definitely the Bronco. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. And it's popular for a good reason. It's a very rugged off-road kind of vehicle. So it's great for that kind of thing, but it's also just great if you wanna drive around town. It's very balanced. The downside again, is if you go with the 2.7 or the 3.0, you will not be able to use an installed braking system. So you are boxed into a portable system, uh, which is why this wouldn't be our top recommendation. If you took that away, the Bronco is a great choice uh, and still maybe for your purposes. But again, you do get boxed into a portable system if you go with the 2.7 or the 3.0. Uh, so you will need those additional accessories and that kind of thing. Our recommendation from Ford's lineup would actually be the F series of trucks, uh, whether that's the F-150, F-250. They're very popular, but also they just make for really easy towed vehicles. Again, I realize trucks may not be everyone's cup of tea and we kind of recommended a truck uh, with GMC and Chevy. There is kind of a running theme there. Trucks and that kind of thing are going to be a little easier to tow. Uh, they are kind of the car amongst Ford's lineup that seems to have the fewest issues and are some of the easiest to get into their flat tow mode and that kind of thing, which is why it would be our recommendation. But again, if you want a more popular, more balanced option, the Bronco is a great way to go as long as you're okay with, again, on the 2.7 and 3.0, uh, only being able to use a portable system and not an installed system. So that's kind of our rundown for Ford vehicles. Again, they make for great towable vehicles. And again, Ford's responsiveness to the RVing community is a huge win in their column that's really kind of more of an intangible. It's not really necessarily gonna show up on a text uh, you know, sheet ever for a car, uh, but it's absolutely something you should keep in mind when you're looking for a new towed vehicle. So if you've got any questions on this video, any of our other videos or anything else, we're always happy to help. Reach out to us by phone, chat, or email. In the meantime, guys, happy RVing. Hey guys, thanks for checking us out today. We've got tons of other great videos on products, stories, and tips and tricks. Before you go check any of those out though, we would really love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe here on this video. It sounds a little cliche, but it actually really does help us significantly here on the YouTube side of things to just continue to produce great content for you. So if you've got any questions on this video or any of the others that you do watch, don't hesitate to reach out. We love hearing from you. In the meantime, guys, happy RVing.